uh, next example, I will try to do uh, for the surface to surface, it will be the same. It will be the same. So I just quickly go through it. For the surface to surface collaboration in Imaris, uh, we also can use this shortest distance calculation. to get the numbers of colocalized surface. So let me just quickly go through it. So here I have two, two channels, two channels, red and uh, green. So if I want to calculate how many, maybe this is not very obvious, but I think we have one in the middle. Guess so we can try to use this one. Okay. So let me do uh actually this one is more for a spot to surface colocalization or distance measurement, but uh, I will just use this one as an example. As an example. So here I have a few few services. I just try to make the service out of this red channel. So let's say I have this few for services for my, my red and for the green I will also use the surface to do this so background subtraction is for better uh, thresholding if for the biology biological samples because usually the background and the signals are not so even so if we enable this option, we will be able to do a better thresholding like this for the specific channels here. And last week, we kind of skip this split touching object options. So this is for Imaris to automatically detect how many objects is actually inside this continuous surface to be able to run an automatic watershed algorithm to split this object, this surface, because the sometimes if the objects are too close together or the resolution is not good, then no matter how you adjust here, it will be still difficult to, to make the perfect stretch holding or it's impossible to make the perfect stretch holding. So this option is to let you, to let Imaris automatically cut the service for you to get a better result. So here I'm just going to use four. So as you can see, Imaris try to put the C points at the center of each object. So Imaris will know how many objects is actually inside this continuous service. Then after the detect of the numbers, Imaris will try to run the watershed algorithm to cut the surface automatically. Like this, like this. Maybe not 100% accurate, but it's still better than without the, the split touching object. And of course, for some object which Imaris fail to detect, you will have to run the manual service cutting, which we kind of introduced in the last uh, training sessions already. But here, anyway, I will just finish. Okay, so now I have two surfaces. One represent the red, one represent the green. And if we want to check the shortest distance, I mean the colocalization, based on the distance, we can go to, for example, green, and we can add shortest distance to service red, then turn off minimum, then turn on the maximum, we can set to zero. For the shortest distance measurement between surface to surface, it will be measured from the edge to edge, to edge edge to edge, not the center. So for edge to edge, we can turn off the minimum and set the upper threshold to zero. So like this. Okay, so every green 
surface contact with red surface will be duplicate. Okay, like this. So we have now these green surfaces which is overlapping with the red surfaces like this. So from this uh, native distance calculation, we can get the numbers as in the spot spot colocalization. But in the application example I show in my slides, we can also measure the actual uh, contact contact areas between between the surface and to surface. So here, maybe I can use this example. Okay, so this is the blood vessels and the collagen, collagen and uh, another green staining. I try to create two surfaces to represent these two uh, components or structures. Then if we want to measure the actual contact areas between these two surfaces, and the compare this statistic between the different groups, like in the applications, then we, then this shortest distance calculation may not work because it just, it just uh, filter out the surfaces and the services and uh, give you the numbers, but not the actual uh, overlapping or contact area. So in this kind of applications, we can try to use another uh, extension module. So let me just rename it first. Okay, so here in image processing and surface functions, um, it's great out here, sometimes happens. We can try to look from here. So surface, surface, uh, call lock here. Service, service, call lock. Let me check. Service, service, call lock here. Yeah. So here I can click. Okay, so two surface to call localized. Okay. Choose how to generate call lock surface smoothing. And smoothing factor already uh, default numbers here. We just follow this phone numbers. Okay, so let me, let's check the result. So here, already this extension module automatically generate this call lock surface object, which represent the overlapping area between these two surfaces or contact area between these two services, right? So after you get these new services, if you want to see or measure the volume, you can just go directly to this statistic tab and you can check the volume here. So here is the detail ones. So there are some small services, so there are a few, many different um, services in this list. If you want to get uh, total numbers, you can either export this to Excel sheet and do a sum calculation, or if you go to average values here, we have all the statistic here, and for the volume, you will be able to see the sum here. So you can also export this table to Excel sheet for your own state, uh, calculation. So here, average values, you will see all the statistics with some mm, calculation already, or you can go to the specific values to see the details in each statistic as well. But anyway, here is how you can get the surface and the surface colocalization volume using by using the surface 
surface core lock extension modules. Uh, if without these extension modules, we will still be able to do these measurements in Imaris, but we need to go through uh, multiple steps, multiple steps using the mask, using the mask function in the surface. So which I will try to introduce in the next topic, I guess. So here we already use uh, some default functions or extension modules to measure the colocalization, object-based colocalization. So here, I think we covered pretty much all of the of the topic for the spot and service is the same actually so you just create the spot and the service and do the shortest distance measurements then you will be able to get so for example like this same demo images we can create a surface based on the red and create a spot based on the green then we can measure the distance between all these green cells to the center of this red structure Okay, so I will not go through it 